Hello and welcome to another Behind the Scenes with State Archives. Today we're going to look at one of my favourite records, which are patient records from Gladesville Hospital. Now the first thing to know is that these are closed for 110 years. Um, so we today are looking at a record that is older than 110 years old. Now the record I've got for us is a medical case book. So these are books in which the physicians, the doctors would write down details about the person, their physical description, how they ended up in a mental hospital, in this one Gladesville, and then they look at the treatment of that patient and what they've done over the years. They also note whether the person was cured, if they died in the hospital, if they were transferred to another hospital, or if the case notes continue because the patient was there for a long time then they'll tell us which book those notes continued up to. In this particular entry, we've got a John Condon who was 29 years old when he was admitted in December 1864. The first thing that you see there is a back, his background. So they're looking at him being a native of the county of Cork in Ireland. He was Roman Catholic, living at Penrith. He was a labourer. Um, they talk about his physical description, so he's a large muscular man of middle height and then they talk about his mental condition. So he's had issues um, and delusions believing that some woman injured his eyes um, and his vision is very imperfect in one of his eyes and he felt that this was because she cast a spell on him um, with evil machinations. And then the rest of the book just details the treatment and observations of him over time um, to the extent that in the next year in July, they're talking about him as um, the most inoffensive creature known to man, in their opinion, um, before he's released from the hospital in September of that year.